What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Dr. Hamis Tang and today we have the smallest flagship here in 2021 and it's of course by ASUS and this is the ASUS Zenfone 8 and I already did the ASUS Zenfone 8 flip, I already did the Rogue 5 and I'm actually super excited to test out another ASUS phone over here and this of course is very surprising seeing that I never used an ASUS phone for the past uh, 6 to 7 years. So in today's video what we are going to do is a little bit of an unboxing and of course go through the key specs and features of this phone and also just to give you my kind of of, uh, thoughts and feedback of using this phone and as you can see here this phone does come in at a 5.9 inch display i gotta say in terms of just holding it and just feeling it in my hand it is a really good size it is slightly bigger compared to like maybe the s10e and of course the iphone 12 mini and the reason why i mentioned that is because there are certain companies nowadays that are still doing kind of the uh, mini phones and I think the reason why the uh, Xiaomi Mini didn't do so well is because it is too small. To be honest, using this for a few days already in terms of watching content and all that, the size isn't that bad. And of course, it is super, super nice to hold it, very nice to grip on it. And over here on the back here, let's talk about the build and design. This one does come with a Gorilla Glass 3 on the back, which is a bit of a bummer, but not too bad. Because over here on the front, you do have your Gorilla Glass Victors, the latest and greatest from Gorilla Glass. So yes, a lot of protection on the front here. And of course, uh, if you did pre-order this, you can get a Rhino Shield case anyway. So that's why I'm not too worried about the uh, back over here. And uh, talking about the back over here, you can see that there is only two cameras over here, which is pretty interesting because normally nowadays you can find like three cameras, four cameras, even five cameras on the back over here. But you do have your 64 megapixel main lens and of course a 12 megapixel ultra wide. I think these are the two most important cameras for most people out there. And over here on the front, unlike the uh, 8 Flip, you don't have your flip camera, of course. And you are only given a single selfie camera over here, which is uh, pretty, pretty good over here. I think if they did like a normal size phone, maybe like a 6.3, 6.4, I don't think this one will be selling that well. But uh, in terms of the size, I think this is very, very special. I think if you are looking for, you know, the latest and greatest phone, but you do not want the size, I think this phone here fits the bill. And talking about the display over here, this one does come with your 120 hertz refresh rate and also does come with an AMOLED panel. Of course, this one does support up your HDR10 Plus and all this other good stuff. And to be honest, watching content over here has been really good. The resolution as well has been really nice. Has a thing about HD Plus, if I'm not wrong, which is a very good display. And like I mentioned, if you compare this to the 8 Flip, you're not going to get the uh, 90 Hz, you can get the 120 Hz. And if you go on to the settings, you can actually change uh, the refresh rate over here to an auto to save some battery. So you'll we'll be switching between the 60, 90, 120 Hz. And of course, if you want to like just get the full on uh, refresh rate, you can toggle this with the 120 Hz over here. And I gotta say, like I mentioned, holding this, it feels really good in hand. 5.9 inches display and a nice 170 grams in terms of the weight. So yes, if you've been using any other flagship phones uh, before this, and if you're to switch this phone, you will definitely feel that this phone is too light. It's not very cheap looking and uh, cheap feeling, I would say. It's a very, very solid build. Okay, so now I'm gonna watch some content over here. Uh, this is at 4K content and I gotta say, it actually looks very, very sharp. Uh, not much difference compared to the other flagship displays out there. If you want to nitpick, of course, you can minus, you know, you can cut out some details. But I gotta say, for a normal user, I think this is really good. Very crisp, sharp, colors are pretty accurate, very contrasty. And you also get your deep blacks. And yeah, like I mentioned, display here, it looks pretty good for me. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna test out over here are the speakers. You do have a stereo speaker setup. So over here on the bottom, you have your down firing speaker, you have your USB-C, and of course your SIM card over here. And on top here, as you can see, we do have a headphone jack in a flagship phone. So yes, if you guys want that headphone jack, I think this Zenfone 8 here does the job for you, and it also has your top firing speaker. So let's just play something over here and just let you in kind of uh, experience the speakers over here.
All right. So uh, in terms of the speakers, I got to be honest, like it's all right, but it's very similar to the Zenfone 8 Flip. It's not the loudest if you compare to the other phones. Even my Poco F3 does sound pretty loud compared to this. And if you compare this to some other phones, it isn't the loudest and it isn't the basis, I would say. But again, it's one thing good I like about this is the fact that they do give you a stereo speaker setup. So in case you're playing some games, if you block out the sound over here, you still can get some uh, sound over here as well. So next here, we're going to talk about the internal specs of this phone. So like I mentioned, this is the smallest phone and maybe even in certain places, the cheapest phone where you can get the Snapdragon 888. And uh, I got to say, this is a pretty sweet deal if you want a power phone. But of course, you don't want that huge size that comes with most flagship phones. Uh, the only sad thing I would say about the internal specs is that this one doesn't have your micro SD expansion. And uh, you can either get the 128 or 256 gigs over here. This one in my phone here, I got the 8 gigs RAM which of course in certain areas you might get even the 6, 8, 12 or even 16 gigs of RAM so you got to see in your local market what they sell here but here in Malaysia we're only stuck with the 8 gigs and uh, 128 gigs of storage so in terms of that I don't think for me it's enough but for most people I think those people who do not use their phone too much I think this is a pretty good storage to have and of course the RAM I think it's pretty good I already did a test with the 8 flip comparing it to the 9 Pro and I find that the RAM management here on the Zenfone 8 is really really good and also one more thing to note is that this phone does come with an ip68 rating something that the zenfone 8 flip doesn't have so the next thing here i want to talk about is the under display fingerprint uh, scanner over here so as you can see it gets the job done pretty fast and uh, pretty snappy and in terms of the placement it's over here so it's at a optimum level i would say Next thing I want to talk about here is the software side of things. And as I mentioned, this software is very, very similar to your Oxygen OS. Very clean and very simple. But of course, you have some customizations here as well. You have your always on display. And one thing I like about this is if you go on to the display settings, you can change the refresh rate here, which sometimes some other phones do not have. And uh, animation speed, app scaling, power button. You can even customize what you want to do with it. And also you have your system navigation, whether you want to go for the buttons or swipe gestures, which over here, as you can see, I went for the swipe gestures. And one more thing here I like about this is the uh, battery over here. When you are charging up your phone, you can actually go on to the uh, kind of, you can actually set how much you want to charge up your phone. So over here, you can go for a scheduled charging and also you can eventually uh, set up your charging limit on this phone so of course if you don't want not want to <laughs> do not want to uh, damage your battery over here you can go for this over here the charging limit which i normally would set at about 90 percent other stuff as well uh, it's very similar to your oxygen os very clean uh, sometimes i would say it's a little bit too clean and a little bit boring seeing that of course asus has their own laptop lineups so I did wish that they could have, you know, implemented some stuff which can actually easily transfer your files from your phone all the way to your ASUS laptops, which I actually do use. So uh, that's a bit of a missed opportunity. But for what I'm seeing right now, I actually really like the software experience about it. You know, there's no bloatware, there's no bugs with this phone. It's very clean and very simple to use and uh, very easy to pick up, especially if you guys are not very convinced about ASUS phones. I think this is a very good phone to start out with, with the uh, Zen UI 8. So over here in the phone, you only are given with an unconventionally 4,000 mAh battery. Uh, but to be honest, if you look at the size of this phone, I don't think I'll use a lot of battery. And of course, you can save it with the adaptable refresh rate. Yes, uh, normal sort of phones nowadays will give you like a 4 or 5 or maybe 5,000 mAh. But if you look at this, you still get about 5 to 6 hours of screen on time, which is still pretty, pretty decent. And of course, you can charge it up with your 30 watts of fast charging. And this phone here does not give you any wireless charge which is a little bit of a bummer looking at of course this price tag so the last thing here we're going to test out are the cameras over here so we're going to take some few shots over here i'm going to show you how it actually looks so in terms of the camera i would say this is more like similar to the 8 flip it is of course a b grade camera but of course with the 8 flip you can actually switch on the back camera to your front camera so it does give you better selfie shots but over here in terms of just the usability of this i think this is a really good pair of uh, camera setups over here so yes, that is it. This is my first hand experience, the unboxing of the Zenfone 8 over here. So yes, if you guys did enjoy this and of course did find this helpful, do click the like and smash that subscribe button down below for more videos like this in the future. Do also follow me on my social as well on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and also here on YouTube at Dr. Harmistack. So that is it. This is Dr. Harmistack. Stay safe, take care, and wash those hands.